And now let's go visit Nancy. All right, Nancy, what's the scoop? What's the scoop? Nancy's here, and she sure doesn't look like she's happy. I stole it. Uh, hi, Nancy. Have you heard anything about the missing tiara? Listen, you guys, you have to help me. Chief Barnes says I'm a suspect in the case. Yeah, you are. Rizelka and I are still gathering clues, but it won't be too long until we find out who took the tiara. Why didn't you tell us what you saw last night? Oh, okay, I was helping Sergio by putting little food on a, a food things on a tray and then taking them around. I was dressed up like Sherlock Holmes. When, when I was coming back from more food, I heard that there was a noise in the back. There were lots of little rooms back there, all connected by doors. Very confusing. I looked around and there was nothing there except a big fur coat hanging on a rack. Then someone screamed and I heard it all these running feet, so I ran back through the hall to the main room and people told me about Amy Jolana's tiara had been stolen. Amazing. Thanks, Nancy. That was semi-helpful, actually. It would only be more helpful if you could have told us who was dressed up in a giant fur coat. Oh, hello, ladies. Both Mrs. Harmer and Nina Hernandez were at the guests at the party last night. Maybe they saw something that will help us solve the mystery. Hey, Linda Harper. It's a horrible crime. I said that so loudly, I'm sorry. We're just lucky that no one was killed. Oh, no, Linda. Don't be dramatic. No harm was done. That actress lost one of her baubles, that was all. Yes, but it was worth over a million dollars. Why, just before the party, Nina and I were pressuring, uh, uh, pressuring, wondering what we would do with such a precious thing. <laughs> that was a fun discussion. I said if I had a million dollar tiara, I'd sell it and use the money to train for the Olympics. In high school, I won the high school championship in the 400 meter dash. But I couldn't afford to keep racing. Mm-hmm-hmm. Um, I think I would keep it all for myself. Well, you know what I noticed about you, Nina Hernandez? You don't seem to have any breasts. Yes, I think we have our culprit right there. But you've got a really big booty I would lay off the tee. Um, actually, to clinch off our case, and I almost went back to Washington Jewelers, but we're going to Mark Moriarty's. Who for once looks like he's innocent. I know, it's amazing. It's like, what? What do you mean he's innocent? But that's the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? Mark sure seems smug about something. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Did you hear? I snapped a photo of the guy stealing the tiara. Cool, huh? I'll probably get a medal. That was quick thinking, Mark. Do you think... Do you have any idea who the person in the clown disguise might be? <laughs> well, no. The light was him and he was moving too fast. Why didn't you tell us what happened in the party room at Swank's hotel last night? I was there taking pictures dressed as Robin Hood. I took a portrait of just about everyone in the place. I still have some of them over there in that box. None of them look like a clown. Let's see, I was about to take another picture of Amy Jolana when she screamed and this clown ran past, so I shot a picture. Boy, he took off. Uh, I could... Uh, <laughs> then I took off after the guy. Boy, he could run fast. There was a maze of halls and back rooms in the party suite. I ran into one club room after another until I got to the very back. The window was open and the cowboy was there. He said the thief must have gotten away. On my way back, I ran into a gorilla. She was coming out of a cloak room. Together we searched the rest of the rooms, but she didn't find. We didn't find anything. The thief must have gone through out through the window. He must have, yes. Oh, good God. This person looks like Mrs. Harper dressed as a French countess, or I would say as a French hooker. Good God. <laughs> this is Mr. Starr dressed as a swashbuckler from the Three Musketeers. Oh, how rugged. Here's Mr. Pulas uh, Pulaski in his cowboy costume. Yes, you're a real winner there. You can't tell this from this picture, but the note says that this is Nina Hernandez in a gorilla suit with a very telltale sign of the checkered 
check it Harlequin suit that she's wearing underneath. <gasps> yes, it was Nina Hernandez. The breathless him Nina Hernandez. So let's prove it to the police. Let's solve. Four clues. We can do it. Alright, no one's dressed as a clown. Blah blah. Blah blah blah. That one. And um. Mm hmm hmm hmm. This one. Hmm, actually, I'm gonna take off the other one. Yes. So, I still have three more clues. Well, we could scare us at that. And, um, there we go. Where's the picture? This one. Now, choose the person you think is the costume culprit. I say Nina Hernandez. Nina Hernandez! Yes! Nina Hernandez was the fleet footed clown, and you can prove it! Let's check the evidence. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. The first clue came from Chief Barnes. There were no footprints on the wet grass outside, so the thief never climbed through the window. It had to be someone at the party who stole the blue spider tiara. We realized that the thief had planned everything carefully by bringing two costumes. He or she changed into the colorful clown costume to make a daring grab at the blue spider tiara. But how could the thief change out of that costume into another so quickly, while everyone was running through the back rooms looking for them? Nancy herself provided us with the clue to that. Just before the robbery, she saw someone's fur coat hanging in the cloakroom. Mrs. Harper said the only one who wore fur to the party Nina Hernandez in her gorilla costume. Look! Mark Moriarty's photo of her. You can even see a bit of the clown suit she's wearing underneath. Mrs. Hernandez took off her gorilla suit and hung it in the cloakroom. Her clown suit she ran oh sorry, in her clown suit she ran and grabbed the tiara, opening the window on her way back. Then she dashed into the cloakroom and became a gorilla again. Right after the robbery, Mark Moriarty ran into the gorilla coming out of the cloakroom. She pretended that she was searching rooms looking for the thief, and Mark didn't suspect a thing. Little did he know the tiara was up her butt. <laughs> if only. Wow, look at this! Aiden Jolana tells the world of how Rosalka is a great detective. Way to go, Rosalka. This is one case when the criminals really was cl clowning around. But Rosalka sure was an eagle eyed saves the day again. Let's see the article. Wow. Oh, thanks, guys. Man, <laughs> Man bites dog. Wow, that would have been an interesting discussion. Priceless Diara recovered. Famous actress overjoyed. Acting on proof uncovered by the Eagle Eye Detective Agency, police recovered the priceless blue spider tiara stolen from Amy Jolana. It was found in the home of Nina Hernandez, who was arrested for the daring heist. According to Rizelka, Nina had come to the party dressed as a gorilla, with a clown suit underneath. During the party, she slipped into a cloakroom, took off the gorilla suit, and snatched the tiara. Rizelka and Jennifer solved the case, Amy Jolana said. They cleverly assembled the clues to prove that the thief never left the hotel. It was a truly brilliant performance. To thank them for their help, I've asked Rizelka and Jennifer to ride with me to the opening of my new movie in Richview in a private limousine. <laughs> Who knows what we'll get up into in there. Um... Let's work on the case of the pilfered pop. Come on, pilfered pop. Pilfered, pilfered, pilfered pop. Pilfered pop. Pilfered, pilfered, pilfered pop. Hey, Nancy. Jennifer, did you drink the last of the soda pop? I checked the hidden cooler and there are no bottles left. No, I didn't. How could they all be gone? Mom said that she put in a new six pack of cola for us yesterday. I haven't even had one yet. That's what I was afraid. Someone snatched our sodas. <gasps> Sacré bleu. There's only four places to go to. Wow. Alright. We always hide the cooler in our in the bushes below our tree. 
The shade helps keep it cool, and we don't even have to la lug ice up the ladder to the eagle's nest. Cool. Hey, Nancy. I went down and got a soda about an hour ago, and there were still eleven left. When I finished the pop, I went down to put the re empty bottle in the recycling bin near the gar garage. Now the cooler is empty except for some water and ice, but I found this video token near in the, on the grass nearby. Have any of you been to quarter time and had a quarter left, a uh, token left in your pocket? <laughs> if I had a token left in my pocket, I would never leave. I always had to play that one last game. Me too. Maybe the thief may be the one who dropped the token. The video game token is from quarter time video arcade. It's shiny, so it couldn't have been grass for long. I noticed a flyer on the lawn. Something about a barbecue. It wasn't there an hour ago when I went to get my soda. I put it over there on the desk. Thanks, Nancy, but we're out of time. So see you guys soon. Bye-bye.